day. It is just about 5 p.m. Um, I am buying my ticket to Anchor Wat. I heard that you can get your ticket the day before and buy a one-day pass and then use it the next morning after 5. So I'm here at the ticket booth and we will see if that is true. I got my ticket, my golden ticket. Um, it's actually kind of a steep entrance fee. It's $37. And I do get to go in tonight for free, and then I'll be able to use my ticket all day tomorrow. So my ticket driver that brought me here said he was going to wait me, and then I'm going to ask him to take me to Tanker Wait! super excited so I just have to walk through there and then I will get to see my first glance of Pinker Walk. of Angkor Wat. Oh man, I was hoping that I would be able to see a sunset but it's a little bit cloudy so I might just come back tomorrow for sunrise. I was originally thinking about skipping sunrise because it's over touristy but I don't know, it must be pretty awesome for a reason, right? There are two little ponds in front of Angkor Wat. There's this one, and there's one on the other side. And usually, that's where the crowds go for sunrise. But as you can tell, it's quite empty. It looks so big. I can't imagine what it looks like. I can actually get up close. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. It took me about 10, 15 minutes to get to the complex and they close at 5.30, so can't quite get any closer. Just have to wait till tomorrow. And it should be a really fun day tomorrow. I'm really excited. So this is Angkor Wat, and there's a bunch of temples all around the complex um, that have different names. So I'll be visiting some of those as well. And I can't wait till tomorrow. Good morning. So I'm not up as early as I thought I was going to be because I decided not to go to Angkor Wat for sunrise um, because I thought a tour that I organized through my hostel would have been better so I can easily go to all the different temples that I want to see. So I'm just about to leave in a few minutes and we are going to spend the next few hours looking around the Angkor Wat archaeological site. So let's go. probably just pop them up throughout this video because I forgot to write them down. Um, and I love fun facts, so I'm going to share those with you um, throughout the video. Just so intricate. All the carvings 
and they're all so beautiful. It's incredible. Alright, the sun is out and it's hot. So, I'm gonna make my way back down and then move on to the next temple or what. But I'm telling you, these stairs. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I got here at about 8.15 which I think is a good idea because there's a bunch more people now. It's crazy. And it's a really sunny day. So everybody Hello. is wearing or using umbrellas to shade themselves from the sun. And there's so many that I feel like I'm gonna get popped in the eye. <laughs> temple is that it's known for its many faces. You can see there's so many faces everywhere. One thing is that this temple is much smaller than Angkor so it's a little bit more crowded just because everybody's more in a close proximity. But it's so cool there's so many faces. Amazing. don't know anything about it. I just know that it's just across the street from the Bayon Temple. So let's check it out. You do have to cross this bridge, which is pretty cool. It's peaceful. two and a half hours and I'm already getting tired. <laughs> it is so hot. It is around 90, 95 degrees out right now and it's not even 11. So I just finished with Papon Temple. Um, I'm gonna have to do some more research because I really don't know anything about it. And there is this elephant temple or elephant something over there but I think I might skip it. And then that way I can move on to some of the bigger ones that I wanted to check off my list. Um, Alright, so I'm going to go and hop back into the tuk-tuk. made it to Ta Prom, and I have to say, this is probably the second most one I'm excited to see. And I'm gonna see if you can guess why. Another reason why I was really excited to come to Ta Prom is because this is the one that inspired the movie Tomb Raider. So I had to come see it because I actually am a fan. And it's really cool. It is different. It's not an exact replica in the movie. Um, it is inspired. But it's probably the one that I've seen today that's the most in ruins. And also the one that I've seen today that has really nice pathways um, throughout it. So it was really easy to navigate. Um, my only thing is, is that I entered through the east gate and 
I think I came out not in the east, so I have to figure out where that is. Westgate. Um, I'm actually glad that I entered through the east gate, though, because the entrance to it was a lot cooler. I don't know, it seemed more grand. I can tell my steps are getting slower. I think I've walked equivalent of four and a half miles, and it hasn't even hit 12 bells yet. So, also, I haven't eaten anything today. That could be an issue. I have a little live TV. Another thing to note, from the entrance to the gate or to the temple, it's far. Um, probably takes a good maybe five, seven minute walk. One is called Borke Garay, Borke Garay, something similar to that. Oh, hey, let's go in. My breathing, it's on.